In this chapter of the Diamond Sutra, the Buddha questions Saputi about whether he believes the Tathagata possesses the physical eye, divine eye, wisdom eye, dharma eye, and Buddha eye. Saputi affirms that the Buddha possesses all of these eyes, which are symbolic of different types of vision or understanding. The Buddha then asks Saputi whether he believes that the Buddha considers all the sand in the Ganges River as sand, to which Saputi replies affirmatively. The Buddha then asks Saputi to imagine a scenario where there are as many Ganges rivers as there are grains of sand in the Ganges river and a Buddha world for each grain of sand in all those rivers. The Buddha asks Saputi whether the number of those Buddha worlds would be great and Saputi again affirms that they would be. The Buddha then asserts that he is fully aware of the thoughts of each sentient being dwelling in all of these Buddha worlds. He goes on to explain that all thoughts, whether past, present or future, are intangible and therefore not truly thoughts. This may seem paradoxical, but it is meant to emphasize that thoughts are fleeting and impermanent, and do not have any inherent reality. The Buddha is trying to show Subhuti that true understanding comes from transcending the limitations of language and concepts. This chapter highlights the Buddhist concept of emptiness or shunyata, which refers to the idea that all phenomena are empty of inherent existence. The Buddha is not denying the existence of thoughts, but rather pointing out that they are impermanent, and devoid of inherent reality. This is an important teaching in Buddhism because it challenges us to see beyond our limited perceptions and understand the true nature of reality. Overall, this chapter of the Diamond Sutra encourages us to let go of our attachment to concepts and to embrace the impermanent and ever-changing nature of existence. By doing so, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us.